I moved out to Langley recently Connecting the dots between Syria, Fukushima, Olympic terror threats and the Nazi CIA Posted by Benjamin September 3rd, 2013 The attempt to start a war in Syria the sudden spike in radiation at Fukushima, threats by Saudi Arabia to wage terror on the coming Russian Olympic Games and other unusual world events are part of a long-ago planned bigger plot to start a fascist world government. Fortunately for us all, the plot is unraveling and the Sabbatean Nazis behind it are now very, very scared. That is why U.S. corporate government slave Barack Obama is now the laughing stock of the world for his attempt to get the U.S. military to support Al-Qaeda based on obvious lies. The regional headquarters for the ongoing Syria operation is a terrorist training school in Turkey run by a Nazi CIA front called the Jamestown Foundation, according to MI5 sources. A key player in this plot is Nazi skull and bones Nazi so-called Secretary of State and suspected wife murderer John Kerry. Kerry married the heir to the Heinz family fortune who then died in a plane crash, leaving the fortune to Lucky Kerry, the sources say. Just when the arrests of these mass murdering criminals will begin is not known, but their next moves are becoming increasingly easy to predict and thus easy to prevent. The next events the Nazi will try to orchestrate will likely include major oil crisis triggered by a closure of the Suez Canal, a financial crisis caused by an implosion in the derivatives market and nuclear terrorism, according to various agency sources. Stepping back to look at the big picture for a minute by piecing together testimony from a variety of insiders over the years, the plot to create a Sabbatean Nazi world government has become transparent. We know for example, from the testimony of pilots and others, that George Bush Sr. and John Kerry were aboard a special flight to Paris. France to meet with Iranian representatives in order to ask them to take over the U.S. Embassy in Iran and keep the staff hostage until after the U.S. presidential election of 1980 as part of a plot to ensure that U.S. President Jimmy Carter was not re-elected in 1980. Once he became Ronald Reagan's vice president, we also know from former Soviet top brass and others that George Bush Sr. told Mikhail Gorbachev that if he agreed to allow the USSR to fail the EU would become the new USSR. We then saw George Bush Jr. and the fascists carry out the 911 attacks to impose a Nazi constitution known as the Patriot Act on the U.S. and begin a massive invasion of the Middle East. The plot involved creating a Weimar Republic type of economic crisis in the U.S. and Europe in order to create the conditions needed for further Nazification of Europe. Part of this plot involves creating a massive oil crisis in the Middle East. To prepare the ground, the invasion of Iraq and the so-called Arab Spring were all part of an effort to impose Nazi-allied Muslim Brotherhood governments in the region. The Muslim Brotherhood was then supposed to revive a pan-Muslim caliphate and provoke a Christian-Muslim holy war to fulfill biblical prophecies of Armageddon, according to fascist P2 Lodge whistleblowers. The end result of course was supposed to be a fascist world government run by the estimated one million members of the Sabbatean Nazi cult. Barack Obama was supposed to put a brown face on this world government in order to make it acceptable to non-Europeans. Now let us look at how this plot is both unfolding and unraveling at the present time. The fall of the Muslim Brotherhood government in Egypt has been a key element in the unraveling because it makes closing the Suez Canal, and thus causing a major oil crisis, much harder to carry out. At the same time, members of the P2 Fascist Lodge and their Nazi operations center in Turkey were supposed to have removed the government of Syria by now but have failed. The attempt to blame the Syrian government for a sarin gas attack on its own citizens in order to provoke a Western invasion of Syria has seriously exposed and crippled the Nazi movement. UK puppet Prime Minister David Cameron had the dubious honor of being the first British Prime Minister to be voted down by Parliament since 1782. 
Cameron is now expected to be out of office by December and the British political system will then be freed from cabal control, according to MI5 sources. The British Parliament is also expected to go from a two-party system to a much harder to control four-party system, the sources predict. The Syrian crisis has revealed the Nazis now only control Turkey, Israel, Saudi Arabia and the pseudo-government in Washington that does not control its own armed forces. Barack Obama will be a laughing stock if he is shameless enough to still consider going to the G20 summit meeting this week in Russia. The key Nazi ally Saudi Arabia is also in serious trouble now. When Saudi Arabian intelligence chief and Bush bum buddy Prince Bandar bin Sultan threatened Russia with a terrorist attack on its upcoming Sochi Winter Olympics, he made a fatal error. By convention, even if some government sponsor terrorism, there is supposed to be plausible deniability. By directly linking the Saudi government to terrorist threats, he allowed Russia the opportunity under international law, to legitimately attack Saudi Arabia. Given this situation, the Jews definitely need to remove that Nazi scumbag traitor Benjamin Netanyahu and free Israel before then spin further out of control. Netanyahu has been recorded threatening to blow up all of Japan's nuclear reactors in a phone call to then Prime Minister Naoto Ken in the immediate aftermath of the March 11, 2011 nuclear and tsunami terror attack against Japan. The motivation was to force Japan to sign away ownership of its U.S. Treasury holdings to the Nazis, which Ken duly did, according to Japanese military intelligence. The use of nuclear terror to shut down Japan's nuclear reactors was also aimed at forcing Japan to import more oil from the Middle East as a part of the Nazi planned oil crisis. The recent spike in radioactivity being reported in Fukushima is being caused by the dumping of nuclear industrial waste, mostly medical, according to Japanese gangster subcontracting to the Nazi Mossad faction. The aim is to blackmail the Japanese government in order to prevent it from restarting its nuclear reactors. Message to Netanyahu. They are coming after you and there is nowhere in this universe where you will be able to hide. In any case, it is not over until it is over. But even if you read the fascist-controlled corporate media, it is increasingly obvious that some of the Nazis' gays are numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a party in the sea.